you know, as a non-believer, a non-Christian, I spend a lot of time talking to conservative Christians about how to be better Christians. Let that sink in for a second. Me, the non-believer, if you're a believer, that's fine. This isn't an anti-believer video. Uh, freedom of religion, I'm there. You can believe and practice as you want in this country. I have no problem with freedom of religion. I have a problem when it enters government. <laughs> I have a big problem with that. But I digress. I notice I get in conversations with Christians, and typically conservative Christians, here in America, who seem to really, who seem genuinely to lack a moral compass. And it's fascinating because Christians claim moral high ground. They just do. Jesus is their high, is their moral high ground. Um, they hold it over everybody else. Um, and, but when you, when you start drilling down into what they believe, especially politically, you'll find they are completely devoid of actual moral high ground. Uh, for example, a clean environment. <laughs> I don't know what it is with conservatives, with conservative Christians being anti-clean energy, uh, anti-clean environment policy. They just, they detest it. It's befuddling, it's completely befuddling. If God gave you this planet, one would think, you know, he put you in charge to take care of it to some degree. But no. Another one is health care. Um, Medicare for all. The concept of a universal health care system to most Christian conservatives is a non-starter. Nope. Health care is not a human right to the Christian conservatives I know. It sort of goes against that whole model of, you know, Jesus being for the poor, for the sick, uh, the uninsured. Um, once again, the, the lack of moral high ground gets exposed. Another one, a living wage. I just had this conversation today with a guy, with a Christian conservative who is a business owner, who basically brags about not paying his employees a living wage that he's chosen over them he he is the one who will profit from their labor like would jesus be for that sort of uh model for a business or that sort just in general for you to profit off the labor of others really Talk about lack of moral high ground. If you just talk politics with Christian conservatives, they expose themselves instantly when you start talking policy. Forget the Bible, forget the church, forget whatever pastor, whoever, whatever said. Just start talking policy with them. They will... They'll, they'll do it willingly. They, like the, the lack of self-awareness is stunning uh, with conservative Christians because the entitlement is functioning. You know, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son to me. And I am entitled to do as I please, all in his name. I'm telling you, man, we live in the upside down. We live in the political version of the upside down. Up is down, left is right. Good is bad. The sky is orange. And Christians really care about the basic needs of everyday people. I just, it, it's a dark day in America for anybody who is logic driven, who has a genuine moral compass 
Th these are dark days. And I'm not giving up. I'm going to plow right through it. Because what else do we have except reason, rationality, the greater good, the objective greater good? I've noticed a lot of conservative Christians, especially them, they believe, they, they can't separate objective good and their own personal opinion of what that is. Like, there's, there's, a, there's a strong conflation there. What I deem as the objective greater good is the objective greater good. And if that means paying workers less, if that means not giving them health care, if that means polluting the environment because I want to and it'll benefit me, then so be it. I'm sick of it. I won't accept it. Don't accept it. Anyways, let me know your thoughts down below. Like, share, subscribe, click the bell. And I'll meet you down in the comments.